My name is Elissa Johnson. I'm a master's student in the Natural Resource Management Department at NDSU, um, and I'm from Lakeville, Minnesota. Um, so I'm looking at monarch butterflies here in rangelands. Um, and the reason rangelands are important is because they encapsulate a huge proportion of our Midwest or Great, Northern Great Plains or Southern Great Plains region. Um, so we're just kind of trying to find how we can keep cattle and keep that business going uh, while also supporting our wildlife and our native species. Uh, so we are trying three different treatments here. Um, we have a patch burn grazing system, a modified rotational grazing system, and a season long grazing system. Our ultimate goal is to see which of these three treatments while still um, harboring and supporting cattle also support wildlife and we're exploring that avenue through monarch butterflies. Um, so it was actually my mother who showed me that, oh hey, we have a milkweed stock, let's look for any monarch eggs or caterpillars on there. And so actually when she stopped doing it, I picked it back up when I was in college. Got really into it, I learned all about their, their different instars, their chrysalis process, how they basically dissolve and liquidate and then come back as a whole new thing. It's super fascinating. There's nothing that beats when you're looking at milkweed and you actually see a second instar caterpillar or you see a monarch fly over and oviposit or nectar from some milkweed. It's just such a cool feeling to see like, oh yes, this is what I'm doing this for. This is like what I came here for. And you do develop like personal attachments to these caterpillars. They're so cute. <laughs> you're feeling that calling towards the science field, that you should find, there's so many outlets, right? There's so many things that you can do that's still science, um, but you should find the avenues that you actually enjoy doing, that you think will make a purpose that you wanna see get done. Some days the wind is blowing a million miles an hour, you're tired and you're hungry and you're having a bad day. But I would say 85 or to 95% of the time, you just, if you're getting frustrated counting how many forbs there are, you get overwhelmed. I literally just look around and enjoy the breeze on my face. I get to see some nature of the butterflies or the birds flying around. And that really grounds you again. Um, and then I like to think of how lucky I am just to be out here in the sunshine and hopefully making a difference ultimately for the species that I'm so passionate about. Um, and it's just, it's, it's a worthwhile experience. <laughs>